difficulty. In Tunisia, tens of thousands of people flocked to the streets of the capital, Tunis, for demonstrations marking six months since the assassination of Chokri Belaid, a leading human rights advocate and critic of the Islamist-led government who was gunned down outside his home February 6th. Tunisia has been embroiled in a political crisis over the past two weeks, following the fatal shooting of another opposition leader, Mohamed Barami, a member of Tunisia's National Constituent Assembly, who was killed July 25th. On Tuesday, the the assembly suspended its activities indefinitely, pending a dialogue between the two sides. An anti-government demonstrator spoke out on Friday at Tunisia's Bardo Square. I'm here today because the situation in Tunisia is critical, because the government and the National Constituent Assembly are devouring Tunisian people. First of all, we ask for the government of In Nada to be overthrown. And second, we ask for the National Constituent Assembly to be dissolved and to form a new government. We have to stand united for Tunisia. Every Tunisian from Bezert in the north to Ben Gerdan in the south is asked to watch over Tunisia and protect it. Our only concern is to keep the country's integrity. We have to put an end to violence, because after the revolutions, we have witnessed three political assassinations, Latfi Nag, Chokri Baled, and now Mohamed Brahmi. We also have witnessed the attack on our national military, where eight soldiers were assassinated in Shambi. And we have to make sure these things will never happen again. We have to stand united for Tunisia.